And we're back and this time I'm going to show you how to create a winking emoji in Adobe Illustrator. Let us start on a view. I've got the smart guides and snap to point only activated and I use the ellipse tool. I hold shift when I drag this circle. Let me align it to the center and I give it an orange yellowish color. Something like this should be fine. Let us now create the eyes. So the first eye is relatively simple. We'll use the lips to again. I'll make the fill color white and I'll shift and over and I drag that. Then I'll press Ctrl C to copy it and then Ctrl F to paste the copy in the front. And then I size that down holding shift and alt and I make the fill color black. That's a little bit too big. Let me size that down. Let us create the eye on the left hand side and we can do that with the line segment tool for example. Just drag a straight line, hold shift when you do that, it helps make the stroke color black and increase the stroke weight. Now we'll use the anchor point tool and I go to the center of the line and I drag it a little bit upwards. I want to have the caps round, so I'll need the stroke menu and I change it to round cap. Let me select it all, then I hold shift and I click on the yellow circle to deselect that. I group the rest and I align it to the center. Let me ungroup the eyes and I drag the left eye a little bit downwards. I can use the arrow keys for that. Now let's start working on the mouth and again I'll use the line segment tool for that and I'll hold shift. Then I use the anchor point tool. I can select that and then press Ctrl C and Ctrl F. So once again I've copied it and then pasted it in the front and then I use the anchor point tool and I drag it downward further. And that gives me the outline that I want for the mouth. And let me reposition that so I shift click on the two elements of the mouth and I use the arrow keys. I need to bring the eyes a little bit further down as well. Alright, now let's make the mouth. A closed shape, so I'll select the bottom part entirely and then I shift click on the yellowish circle in the background to deselect that. Then I go to object and expand. And now I can use the shape builder tool on the mouth. And again the eyes, they need to be a little bit further down. Let me transform the mouth a little bit. Now we need a tongue and we can use for example the ellipse tool for that. I'll make it red and I just freeform drag it. I'll align it to the center. Now find a good position. Then I shift click on the black element, so the mouth. So only the tongue and the mouth are selected. And then I use the shape builder to hold alt and get rid of the top part of the mouth. I want to have it round at the top, so I use the anchor point tool for that once more. You can see the edges 
I want to make them round, so I use the direct selection tool, press A for that, and I shift click on both, and then I drag the curvature tool, so this little circle inwards. That solves the problem. Let me create a black stroke in the center of the tongue. Again, I use the line segment tool for that, and I make it black as a stroke and I increase the stroke weight. I want to give this round caps as well. And now we can transform it a little bit so the tongue and the mouth specifically until we've got something that we like. Oh, and I want to transform the mouth. There's a little bit of a problem. I'm going to show you how to solve that. So at first I'll use the anchor point tool and you can see now We've got two additional anchor points that cause a problem. We can delete them with the direct selection tool. So select them, press the delete key. But afterwards, you don't have a closed path anymore, so you can't use the anchor point tool anymore. So there is one way to solve that. Let me get rid, or let me put aside the yellow circle first. And then I select the top portion of the mouth, then right click and join. So I've used the direct selection tool for that. And now I can use the anchor point tool again. You can see I've decreased the opacity a little bit of the stroke on the tongue. It's a nice little detail. And this I can create the winking emoji in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.